So I'm getting ready to go on a hiking trip and my Ultra Loom Peak 3.5s are showing a little bit of wear and tear on the toe cap. And that's no surprise. This particular model is known for that, but to be fair, I've had lots of other brands do the same thing. This happens to be a pair of Merrells. So I'm gonna go ahead and repair the toe cap on these and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm using paper towel, rubbing alcohol, Q-tips if you have them, some kind of tape to use as a clamp. And I swear I'm not getting paid to say this, but I would highly recommend using free sole versus something like shoe goo. In fact, shoe goo I have found to be absolute garbage. I put shoe goo on this boot right here Two days out of Harper's Ferry, it all started peeling off. Don't even waste your time with shoe goo. It is absolute garbage in my opinion. So get yourself some free sole or some other high quality shoe repair. Most of this stuff you could probably find at a hostel or in a hiker box. Okay, so the first step is probably the most important step in the whole process. And that is to clean the entire shoe. Now the spot we're focusing on is the toe cap, so we're gonna wet our Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol, and we're just gonna start pulling the dirt out. You can't do too good of a job here. Um, the cleaner you get it, the better the repair is gonna stick. And I find it helps to put the shoe on one hand so I can kind of move it around as I'm working. And I just want to clean out the dirt from all the cracks too while I'm at it. And for the larger spots, I'm going to use the paper towel. And you don't necessarily need paper towel. You can use a rag or a bandana, toilet paper, whatever you have at your disposal. So my paper towel is still kind of grungy, so I want to keep on wiping until I don't have any dirt on my paper towel or my rag or my Q-tip. Still a lot of dirt on there, so we're going to keep wiping and keep cleaning until there's no more dirt. So don't get lazy here. Like I said, it's the most important step. If you don't get all of the dirt out of there the repair is simply not going to stick. Okay, so once you're satisfied that you have your shoe clean and there's no more dirt on your rag, go ahead and clean it again. You can't clean it too much. All right, now that your shoe is clean and you are double satisfied that it's clean, then we have to let the shoe dry for a little while. Now, if you're in a place that has a hair dryer, this can speed up the process, or if it's a hot day, you can just set your shoes out in the sun for an hour or so. Once my shoes dry, I like to stuff something down into the toe box, a piece of newspaper, some paper towel, sock. I wanna keep the front of the shoe from collapsing while I'm making the repair. Now it's time to apply the urethane. Okay, so you will need to puncture the end, and I recommend putting as small of a hole as possible so that you're not wasting material and squeezing out way too much into your repair. What you want to do is peel back the repair as far back as you can go. Said. See, I'm just squeezing a little bit in there. Okay. I'm gonna let the toe cap get coated on the inside. It's gonna kind of force it, move the toe cap back where it needs to go. And you can see it's kind of coming out the sides there. That's okay. Okay, and remember, we're not trying to win an art contest here. What we're trying to do is seal up the shoe and keep this toe cap from peeling off. Okay, so once it starts just about oozing over the top there and out the sides, you're gonna to wanna to put your tape on. And we want to tape it so it stays in the position um, that it's supposed to be in when you bought the shoe new. Okay, so what we're going to do is cut a piece of our KT tape and place it right on there. 
I've never actually used KT tape for this type of repair before, so I'm hoping that it actually works. Uh, we're going to find out. I'm going to stretch it as tight as I can get it, and I'm going to pull it over the top of the shoe. Okay, and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot oozing out the top through the tape, so that's good. The only place we have it coming out is the sides. We take this extra and we're gonna fill up this seam right here. So I'm just gonna kind of take it and pull it. And you can't overwork this because it'll dry quick. And we'll pull it down into here too, just make sure. And if you need to, you can always just dab a little bit more in there. If you see any spots, that need to be filled and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to fill any cavities so that the water and or the dirt cannot get in there. And we'll do the same thing to this shoe and in the morning we'll show you what they look like. Okay so that's where we're at. They don't look the greatest like I said. We're not trying to win an art contest. We're just trying to keep the water from coming in. And that toe cap is sealed up pretty well, but there's still a tiny bit of a cavity. And I can probably fill that in a little better right there. If I were getting back on trail today, this would probably be better than they were to start with. Because they were completely peeling back. And uh, this would work, but since I do have extra time, I'm going to go ahead and put a second bead over the top now that the toe cap is stable just to make sure that no water or dirt works itself down in there. And that's it. Our second coat's on. We're just going to let it dry. And we're ready to hit the trail. <laughs> 